Welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. Today we're going to talk about the SWS resources window and specifically the media file option. And we're going to set up a few kind of preset MIDI items that will just make uh, music production a little bit quicker. So the SWS extension is a great addition to Reaper. It adds so many features. We're going to focus on the resources page. And this is kind of like a clipboard or kind of like a, um, an item management window where we can bookmark different items and track templates, effects chains, projects, images, themes, and then load them through double click in this window for various actions. Before we do this, we need to edit one of the configuration files for SWS just to increase the number of action slots there are. So uh, I'm going to open up snm.ini in text edit. I'm going to increase the font size so you guys can see it. And let's make this window bigger. So what we're looking for here is the section called NB of actions or number of actions. There's a number of actions that correspond to functions for the SWS resources window. For example, add track template equals 32. The number of actions, it's going to be import tracks from track template, slot one, all the way up to 32. The default for this is four. So on yours, you're probably going to have only four slots available from the action list. You can have as many slots as you want within the resources window, but the number of actions will be defaulted to four. So just make sure that you're editing this file to increase the number, and you're doing this with the Reaper closed. So Reaper can't be running when you're editing this. Add media item to current track slot n, and I'm just making sure that this is a higher number than four. So once you edit, hit save, quit this app, and open up Reaper. So with the SWS resources window, and under media item, we can have as many slots as we want. And now in the action list, if I search the action list for resources media, we'll have actions like add media file to current track slot one, add media file to new track slots one through 32, and add media file to selected items as takes slots one through 32. So my plan for this is to use the SWS resources window to load a few preset MIDI items that just have drum patterns built in. Um, probably just gonna be like one note um, in, in a particular pattern. And then I'll use that with a sampler to choose the sounds and things like that. So yeah, let's give that a shot. So I'm just gonna make this a single bar MIDI item. These are gonna be drum patterns. So let's go into uh, diamond mode here and we'll set up some some MIDI notes. Let's do highest velocity and then let's do quarter notes. Just, yeah. So we've got 127, 100 for the rest of them. I'm going to export this as a new MIDI file. And this will go into, I guess I'll put it into my sample library folder, MIDI files. And uh, yeah, let's make a new folder here. So Call this default MIDI patterns, I guess. And so this will be kick quarters, I guess. Let's see what that looks like adding a file to the slot. So I'm going to right click, load slot slash file, and grab that kick quarter and open. And so I've got that file there. I'm going to put my cursor here. If I double click, it's going to add to current track based on this uh, setting at the bottom here. Double click the slot, it adds in that MIDI item. And let's move on to a very simple snare pattern. So I'm going to get rid of beats one and three and uh, increase these up to 127. And that's my second MIDI file. So I'm going to export to new file, back to that MIDI pattern folder. And so this will be snare one. Let's do another one that's just got a, like a little accent here um, on the eighth note before the end. And I'll export that again. And just, you know, just think of various drum patterns and things that you are always programming in every song. 
you know, these are things that you can now just instantly import rather than programming them again and again and again. Let's do another one for hi hats here. So this will just be um, like a hi hat pattern on eighth notes. So that's hi hat one. Let's do another one where these are all same velocity. And we'll do one that is 16th notes, all one velocity. And I think that's enough for now. So I'm actually going to do this in another way to load in more. So I'm gonna right click on this button here, the auto fill and set the auto fill directory, which is going to uh, be defaulted to the project folder. Um, I'm gonna set auto fill directory to that default MIDI patterns folder and hit open. Auto fill MIDI item slots. And I'm not sure why that put them at the bottom of the list, uh, but I guess it's because these were empty. But now I've got my, my kick, my snares, so let's make up a drum pattern with this. Let's go up to the Media Explorer. I've got my kick drum. And I'll insert this into a new sample player. And I will double click on my kick quarters. Click on the slot number, otherwise you're renaming. So there's my kick. Move back to the start of the project. I'm gonna get my snare drum. And I'm going to insert that into a new sample player on a new track and double click my snare one pattern. I'm going to take a clap. Sure, why not? Add that in to a new sample player. Um, bring in my, uh, my pattern again, one of the snare patterns. And hi hat closed. We will insert that a new sample player, bring the cursor to the beginning, and uh, we'll add in hi-hat one. So here's what we've got now. That pretty much worked exactly as I had expected. And let's say we don't want this, um, this kick drum sound anymore. We want to change the kick drum. It's as simple as dragging and dropping into the sampler. If we don't like this pattern, we can grab a different one. Let's drop that in there. So it's kind of a lot of steps to set this up for the first time, but uh, I think if you kind of get into a workflow of using this, if you find patterns that you're constantly using, you can you can do this. Um, so we looked at editing the snm.ini file to get more slots for resources actions. I showed you exporting MIDI items, creating a library, and how to add them into the resources window in two different ways. So the first way was adding in one at a time, and the second one was choosing an autofill directory and importing those. From there, what else can we do? How can we make this faster? So my kick pattern, is on slot one. Let's just add this to a key that I don't think I have assigned already, F5, sure. And so if I press F5 with a track selected, it's going to insert that item and I can repeat that as many times as I want. Let's take slot, uh, I think slot three was a hi-hat, so I'll add that to F6. And so I've got my hi-hat pattern here. Number six was my snare that I wanted. So slot six, add that to a key, and I've got F7 assigned to slot six. And if I change the tempo of this song to 150, I do the same thing, I'm importing with F5, it's automatically increased the speed of that MIDI item. 
Of course, you don't have to only use MIDI items with this. You can use audio items, you can use video files if you wanted, and um, anything that you can kind of template and save in this resources window, and then figure out shortcuts for using your keyboard, using a stream deck, using web remote. Um, these are all things that can speed up your workflow. And I'm sure that you can come up with even more creative options. But that's where we're gonna leave it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you found it useful. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.